Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm excited to bring you this classic PS2 game that has brought me so many fond memories over the years. Um, I have a feeling that this might not be as uh, enjoyable as I remember it to be, but this was something that has filled my years with much enjoyment back on the PS2. Uh, basically because this is just a kaiju fighter game where you're taking a robot, he's placed inside of a totally destructible city, and you know PS2 days, having a city that you can completely level to the ground and have nothing left, that was really awesome. Having giant robots to control was really awesome. Having to fight giant monsters, again, pretty awesome. In addition to that, what I really enjoyed about this game was the control system because you have your controller and you have your uh, four bumper buttons on the back here. You've got your two triggers and your two bumpers. Uh, each bumper and trigger left and right controls the leg individually depending on what you'd rather do with it. Some buttons uh, make them step backwards, One another button will make them step forward, and then you have your joysticks which will independently move each of his arms. So it's like you have this robot and you literally control every part of his body and that was really cool. For PS2 that was something that we hadn't seen so I had a lot of fun with it. Let's begin. Let's get started here. Alright, let's start playing here. I want to wreck the city a little bit. Oh no. Hello, we bring you breaking news. It's... It's just, just beyond belief. This Rome is bad. Is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. I don't remember it being this bad. It's said to have suddenly appeared and begun attacking indiscriminately. Damage is estimated to be catastrophic. We will bring you more information as soon as we receive any updates. Oh. We've made connection. We've got a live feed from the disaster scene. This is live from Rome! The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's... it's unbelievable. The city like is burning. It is unbelievable. Oh, something shot out of it. it it's something really shot out of it. It's simply incredible. The simply incredible. The becoming a blazing ruin. This isn't a movie. This can is I, real. Can this I... Is I can't skip this. Let me skip these damn cutscenes. Holy shit. Why can't I skip this? Alright, finally, I can play the game. Not good. Running late. Better hurry to the meeting spot. We're meeting on the train station platform. There's the station. Oh, this dub is just terrible. I don't remember it being this bad, guys. I know I get some rocket boots. There we go. The platform is up past the wickets. I would appreciate being able to play the game for longer than 30 seconds without being interrupted. Thank you. I remember she's over here. I used to have a demo disc of this, and I remember specifically meeting this girl on the demo that I had, because you could only play the first level. Can we just get the monster in here and just have it level everything so I can get my robot and kick its ass? I don't think that's too much to ask. Alright, something is happening here. Well, you can't kill yourself via train. Attention, Mr. Sukiyoka. Calling Mr. Sukiyoka. Oh, bad dub sounds worse over a megaphone Can like that. Can you hear that. me, Mr. Sukiyoka? Oh, shit. Like, it's just loud enough to pierce my eardrums when I have the headset on, but I don't think I can hear it with it off. What is going on? Okay, I kind of can. Good enough. Mr. Sukiyoka, please come yeah, now. Yeah, it's pretty bad. 
The Trillennium Committee? Oh, shut up. I'm just gonna skip all this, because I don't care. Okay, I'll go too. He sounds so enthusiastic about that. Alright, let's go to our grandma's house over here. Holy shit, he's right in front of me. I love how they couldn't include a mini-map on the game. So here I am using my rocket boots to go to her grandma's house and save her. She is just fucked back there. I'm leaving her. No way she can run as fast as me because, hell, I've got rocket boots. And how come nobody notices that I'm the only one here that can fly? Alright, where do I gotta go? I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm sorry, but that's kind of funny. Senjo is on fire. He doesn't... Don't you love how excited he is just about his whole town is on fire? He doesn't even care. Give me the damn robot. Why don't... Why can't I get into the fucking robot? Volgara. It seems shameful to destroy it. <laughs> All right. It's getting a little bit better here. Dr. Rai. All right, better get inside your fucking robot. How many other your friends are gonna have to die? Ah, chairman. Oh, you're just in time. How many more bad accents Fine. are we gonna get? Then we will launch the well. I Can I just please play the fucking game? This is Mika Banhara, live from downtown Senjo, and an immeasurable devastation is unfolding here at the hands of an enormous humanoid weapon. It is firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power. Alright, just when you don't think it can't it get any worse, with the terrible voice acting and, and not knowledge. being able to play what the fucking game, we get this movie. news oh, broadcast man. right up here, all up in your screen, reported. and look at it! It's sitting here telling me about the fucking news about the mech, I can see it, it's right in front of my fucking face! Give me the damn robot! Finally! I guess the start button speeds up certain cutscenes. But I was pressing that earlier, it didn't do anything. Alright, so... The way this game controls is, and I remember this, is that you get a remote control. You don't actually go first person or third person. Well, you go first person inside of your own character, like just then. And that may sound really dumb, but it's actually pretty cool when you play multiplayer with your friends. The situation no. has taken a turn for the worse. Sanjo already Get that off of my screen. You couldn't give me a mini map, but you're gonna give me this. Of another human weapon. Will Sanjo be trampled by these two mechanical behemoths? Anyways, uh like right here on the I'm right here on the building and I'm controlling it when I hit select. Uh when you play a multiplayer with your friends with this, uh you can actually target their bodies, and I thought that was pretty cool. It's not really worth anything for single player game unless you, the, you fall back on top of your body, which has happened a few times. The enemy's coming. What should I do? You kick its ass! Fire the hawking laser! Alright, fire your fucking laser. Did I miss? I think I missed. What? Hawking laser didn't harm it? This is so stupid. What? It vanished. 
how do I turn around here? It can teleport around attacks, I guess. Our attacks Why not? Get off my screen! Holy shit! The newly emerged humanoid weapon has challenged the rampaging robot. The two mechanical giants are locked in fierce battle. It's incredible! We can feel cool. tremors from their violent clashes. Could this be the coming of the Armageddon? What's up with the encoding of this voice acting? Because it just sounds like it's all. I don't know. Sometimes it'll slow down really bad. It's working, Chairman. Keep. Well, I would keep it up if you would let me play the fucking game. Judo chop. I'll teach you a powerful punch. Ah. <sighs> Don't you feel, like, just frustrated when you play a game that won't let you play the game? It just interrupts you at every single moment. There should be an option in every video game which allows you to turn off any of the tutorial, and this just doesn't have it. Of course, it is a PS2 game from 2002, but this is ridiculous. There could have been much easier tutorial modes that it just gives you a menu of things to go through and you try it out, like with Zone of the Enders, for example. That had a great now, training mode, and you could do it whenever you wanted. As soon as you started the game, you were actually inside of your mech, and you... Oh my god, this guy will not shut up! Yeah, knock him through the building. Keep hitting him when he's down. Perfect. Finally, we're done with this one. Let's go to a mission. Okay, I finished this one, so I assume that the next mission, they're not gonna do it for. Like, they're just not gonna keep interrupting you constantly. Oh, fuck, not another news. Okay, so, with this level, they cut right to the chase, they give you the mech, they still don't shut the fuck up, but I guess that's part of its story. It looks like I'm in the exact same place, so where do I gotta go? Oh, it wants me to get on top of it. Which is probably not gonna be a good idea because he walks around and it's probably gonna knock me off. Oh. Let me get on top of his head. It kinda reminds me of one of those episodes of like Power Rangers when they would be like outside of their mech talking to each other, talking to... I don't know. Alright. Because I used to be really big in the Power Rangers, too. I'm just gonna... Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna stand on top of his toe. Control the Mega Knight while you're on it. Let me get on it. Fuck. I'm gonna get on his toe right here. Life from oh Cargo. shit! Yeah, not a good idea to get on this foot. Okay, so I got to the carrier. To be continued. What a fucking level was this? I had to walk down the street. Let's go to the next level. Maybe I have to actually fight something then. Alright, this better not be another news video. Swing him! Get him! Perfect. The fan 
Phantom system. Oh shit, he's on top of my head. Damn, this dude just teabagged me from space. So long as that Don't tell me that killed me. Alright. I didn't even lose any health. Yeah, the controls are definitely dated now. It feels like right now these mechanics of controlling each each individual body part is more of like a gimmick, but for its time it was something a bit more unique because, I mean, you're controlling a robot and you're naturally going to be in the cockpit with a ton of controls in front of you and you're going to have to do everything manually and this is kind of what that represents except for you're using like this little remote control to, uh, to control them and that's pretty cool. Okay, so I defeat the mission, and I really don't think this is just giving us enough uh, gameplay here to really enjoy. So let's go to the next mission and get this fucking news report out of the way. Thank you for giving me the choice to skip this. For the first time in about 45 minutes now, I'm still in the tutorial apparently. And the mission was just for me to go and say no, I don't want a tutorial. I fought two monsters so far, and it's been... How long has this been? About 45 minutes. Here we go, another fucking news video. Oh my god, why do they make these? Hello, we bring you the latest news on the mystery robots. Shut up. I hope she gets government. stepped on by a robot. Possibly. You know, the next level I play, I'm gonna destroy everything. I don't give a fuck. I'm hoping that if I destroy everything around, then I'll have nobody left to give me such terrible voice acting. There'll be nobody to interrupt me when I want to play the game, and that'll be it. I'll just have this nice big open area. Well, that's done. Time to go. Time to go. Where are we going? It's terrible running. Fast forward. Oh, we're meeting this girl. Hi. Yup. Is your club canceled? Come on. I'll walk you home. Sure. He's gonna walk her home now. Why not? Let's go walk her home. Hold up. I got the case right here. Robot Alchemic Drive. All right, there's nothing on the front of it. What's on the back of it? Let's see what it says here. Wield a powerful remote control unit and take command of a 120 foot tall, fully armed transforming Mega Knight Titan. Crush anything in your path and smash your way to victory. Unique control mechanism simulates remote control of huge robots. Destructible environments, incredible sense of scale, split screen two player, robot bashing, R and D development enables customization of robots. I don't even know if that last one is true by the way, but there's nowhere on here where it says you're gonna have to walk a girl to school or back to her home from school. This is so annoying. Hurry up! I guess I have no. to talk to her now. Yes? Uh, well, you lived alone with just your grandmother, right? How are you keeping up now? I'm on my own now. All right. And your finances are okay? Well, that's why I had to find work. I have to pay my... Okay. That must be tough. If there's anything... Feel sorry for me. I'll be fine. You've been through terrible times too. I've heard that you were wealthy before, but your base. We both have to keep. Right? Yeah. 
There comes a time in a man's life where he has to make a choice. Of course. Do you get into a giant robot and start stomping on bitches? I think it's about time. You know, as soon as I... What is up with... Okay, I thought how I ran was bad. What's wrong with her? Holy shit, look at that. We're just skipping across the road like this. She skips, and then it slides her across the pavement. What the fuck? No shit. How many times are they going to tell me to enter the map with a star button? Or maybe she thinks, oh, I got to go over here and initiate conversation with her. I was getting far away because I know that I'm going to step on this building. Thanks for keeping me. Yeah. Then now, be strong. <coughs> I think I'm becoming allergic to this game. Yep, I'll do that. Um, can I ask you something? Is she gonna confess her love for Simpai here? What's up? Are you? Who are you? Who are you? It said earlier that we had been friends since middle school. Who am I? Are you serious? How stupid do you have to be? Fuck. What is the committee? I'm just well, going to step on her. That's I... it. She's getting stepped on. When you... She's gonna become a big bloody footprint. You... That better not end the mission either. If it does, I'm just gonna quit the video here. Let's fuck playing this over and over again. All right, let's fast forward, bring in the monster. Oh, fuck, not more news. I guess this is giving me a better camera angle. This is Mika I'm just gonna Bahara, jump. Reporting live. The mysterious robot that saved Japan on several occasions has appeared again. It appears set to confront the new humanoid weapon. However, the latest humanoid weapon is equipped with drills on its arms. Nice. We got a flamethrower no here. How this battle will turn out? I know that if you click oh R3, goodness. you can actually uh, change emerged from the robot's arm. Your, uh, an your hand. System. You can actually change that to a drill. I don't like the flamethrower because my enemy is not flammable. But I can probably like drill through them. You know what? There are better things at hand here. I don't want to fight this guy. We're on the same side as of right now. I'm going to go destroy this bakery real quick. Yeah, right on top of those houses. Perfect. Thanks for giving me a push in the right direction. Watch out for the enemy's grand charge attack. Perfect. Even You have to be kidding. <laughs> no! The bakery! That's where I work! Because you didn't already tell us that a few times. Thank you. Alright, now where is she at? I'm gonna step on her. Get me to walk her to her bakery. That's why I got stepped on. Cause I wanted to fight some monsters, but you just want to show me your damn bakery. So, see your bakery? I just flung my body through it. Now, where is she at? And this is practically the largest building that I have been able to land on. And get back up. Let's tear it down. Ah. Huh? All? That 
was my condo. Please, don't worry about it. I'm not because you um. suck at voice acting. Get good. That's done. And I'm done too because fuck this. One. You know. This was a game that it is definitely a lot of fun. I can still vouch for that. If you play with your friends in uh, split screen versus mode, that's a lot of fun because you're stumbling around, you're, you can't control yourself. But the problem here is that you have to beat the story mode in order to unlock all of the characters to play as. Because you start off, you have three of the different mechs which you could choose from at the beginning of the story mode. I just chose this guy. And as you progress in the game, you unlock more characters to play as. Like, you can play as some of the kaiju in multiplayer mode. But this isn't even the case where you look back on something and say, well, this aged poorly. Obviously, the dubs, you know, you could say, you could give either way with this. It's a low-budget game. Obviously, they're not going to get the best voice actors for this. And you could just say that this is a game that didn't age properly. But uh, the video speaks for itself that how long is this video now? Um, it's uh, an hour long. And I've played this game for an hour now, and I've had three fights in a game that this isn't story-driven. This is a game where the only reason it exists is so that you can get inside the uh, the robot and fight some kaiju. It's a game that's totally driven by the gimmick of your control system and having a city that you can uh, go around and destroy everything in. And in that regard, this is a game which is technically, I wouldn't say that it's broken, but they just don't let you play the game. There's so much hand-holding, there's so much interruption with the, the voice actors just coming in and uh, interrupting you all the time. It just doesn't let you play the game, and that isn't even an issue of something aging properly. Like, the video speaks for itself here, so I really can't recommend this for anyone unless you're a huge fan of Godzilla or these kaiju games and want to control a robot in a way that you've probably never controlled one before and uh, play with your friends. It was It's pretty fun to play with your friends. All in all, uh, this was a game that I was excited to play, honestly, because it has been years since I played this game. So I thought, you know what? I'm doing the gaming videos now. I want to share Robot Alchemy Drive with people. And I came in and I experienced again why nostalgia means nothing. I was so nostalgic about this game simply because it was fun for its time, but that doesn't mean that it's quality, you know, this game clearly is not. Uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go play some Dark Souls next, so that's gonna be the next video on this channel, and I'll see you next time.